Okay, our first celebrity test driver needs no introduction in the four state area. None other than Lou Scally, the voice of the valley. Dave the Deal Maker. I can't believe I get to work with Dave the Deal Maker. How well, you doing? We are indeed honored to have you on the show. Thank it you for agreeing to be on. It is my pleasure. I have known the Hamilton family for so long. Uh, my wife drives a car from their dealership, and uh, they've just been great people to deal with. Now, you told me she was driving a car that she got there a good while back. Yeah, it's been a while back. It was a 97 Pontiac. Grand Prix, brand new, and that's why she's so interested in these test drives because she says <laughs> it's her turn for a new car. But uh, no, the Hamilton dealerships do a great job. Let's yeah. talk about you for a little bit. Now, you've been in TV for over 25 years now. Uh, 27 years, as a matter of fact. 27 out. years. Yeah. How did you get your start? Well, there were, the TV station was jointly owned with the local radio station, WHAG, and uh, there was an opportunity for me to do a little bit of overproduction and voice work. They had a need for a weatherman, 11 o'clock at night only, five days a week, and they asked me if I'd do it, and I said, well, I really really was uncomfortable doing it, never did TV before, and I said, I tell you what, I will do it until you find somebody. And that was the, that was the, there was a handshake, an offer, I'll do it till you find somebody, and 27 years I'm still doing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> They're still looking, but they haven't found anybody yet. So. <laughs> That's a hard spot to fill up. Uh, it must be, must be. So you're a TV weatherman, you and you host your own radio show. Now tell me about the radio. Monday through Friday, I, I start my day at about 4.30. The alarm goes off. I have to roll the dog out of bed, and uh, the dog always sleeps between my wife and myself. Uh, really an incredible animal. It's a Labrador retriever. Anyway, uh, I get up, hit the shower, and head for WJEJ and do a morning radio show Monday through Friday. My day normally starts about 6 o'clock at the radio station, run till noon. I have a half-hour talk program called The Phone Party where people call in. Uh, talking about household hens, problems, recipes, things like that. We do a lot of news, weather, and sports in the morning at WJJ. And I started that almost 30 years ago, so I've been doing that for quite a long time, too. And again, it's just because I, I, like, I like the station, I like what we're doing over there. It's just been a real good opportunity for me. Now, is there music in the morning on your yep, show? Yep, we, we play mostly standards, Sinatra, Tony Bennett, things like that. Oh, so, the classics. Oh, yeah. the good stuff, yes, indeed. Okay, and you also have... I understand, a DJ business. Yes, I do. I, I started that over 20 years ago. I went to my wife's Christmas party. Very quick story. Went to my wife's Christmas party. There was a guy there playing music, and he was so bad. And I, I said, go find out what that guy made. And it was like 300 bucks at the time, I think. And I said, I can be that bad for that. So I, I went out and bought the equipment, and uh, uh, it grew into quite a business. Matter of fact, the Hagerstown Magazine listed me as the top DJ a couple of years ago for weddings. Now, I am doing less of those, because as you probably noticed, I'm getting a little older. But... I still enjoy doing uh, anniversaries, uh, occasional weddings and parties like that. A lot of class reunions. So between the TV, the radio, and the DJ business, I mean, how do you find the time? Well, I take naps, and as a matter of fact, I'm taking a nap right now. It's, it's, it's Is it nap time? Oh, oh yeah, right. Nap this time? very, I am taking a nap right now. I, it's hard to believe, but I'm actually asleep right now while I'm doing this interview. You look like you've gone a little <laughs> nocturnal. On I, it's amazing. My eyes just roll back, and I keep talking. Now, when you're not doing the TV, radio, DJ business, what do you do? What do you like to do in your spare time? I, 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 we love gardening. My wife and I love gardening. We have a, a baby granddaughter that's two and a half years old, and uh, grandchildren are the greatest gift in the world, so we just love doing things with her. What's her name? Uh, her name's Katie. Katie. Yeah. And the Labrador's name? Uh, Blondie. Blondie. We had Dagwood for 14 years. He uh, went to doggy heaven, so we said, we need another dog, so we got it. It was a female. I said, what else but Blondie? Makes Dagwood, sense to me. Blondie, good stuff. Luke, you drove the Hyundai Azera. Yes. First impression. An excellent sedan. To, to consider that that car, you can get that car for 30000 or even less. It, it is so well appointed. Leather seats, heated, XM radio. It's got everything in it, and it handles so beautifully. It handles as good as uh, cars costing fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000. And I've driven those cars. This one really is, this is going to be a big car. You think so? You think, think this so. will be popular? Yeah, I think it's going to be very popular, mainly because people are looking for good looks, economy, and also the, the, the quality of the workmanship, and the Hyundais are, are just absolutely beautifully built. I could not find anything wrong with the fit or finish. It was absolutely perfect. Now, Hyundai has come a long way. They are gearing themselves to more towards that upper end market, and they are competing with like the Lexus, the Mercedes, the BMW, and whatnot. Now, you drove this car, and you said you know you'd looked at cars that are fifty, sixty thousand dollars. What are you giving up with that Hyundai? That you the only you thing know? you're giving up is a nameplate that's costing another twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars. 
So the ride, the fit, the finish, it was all there. It was all there. I couldn't, could not believe how well it behaved. The handling was tremendous. And, and again, you, you're looking for something that's safe, something that's affordable, and something that you, you would enjoy driving all the time. If you spend a lot of time in a car, you want everything to be just right. Everything was laid out perfectly. The uh, dashboard made sense. Matter of fact, it made more sense than most vehicles that you drive. I love so. the wood in that car. Very, very nicely appointed. And again, the price point is so good that uh, you'd spend a lot more for a lot less car. So the Hyundai Azera comes with a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, a 5-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. Who's that car right for? That is right for guys like me who like to buy a new car and run them. We like to get out there and just drive them and get our money out of them. And they are really uh, well appointed from the standpoint that uh, when, when you get behind the wheel, you know that you are driving a quality vehicle. You can tell. You can tell when you sit behind the wheel and shift it into gear. And when you that first acceleration, it, it the, the transmission is so flawless that it, it shifts very nicely. You don't feel any kind of movement at all except that forward thrust. And it is, it is wonderful. And it's good for... Uh, had the engines big enough to do the freeway driving or around town. It's just been one of my favorite sedans to drive. Well, Lou, thank you so much for being on the show. It was indeed an honor and a privilege to have you on. Thank, thank you very you. much, Dave the Dealmaker, and uh, keep an eye on Dave the Mealmaker. He's going to be one of the biggest things in America. Next five years, he'll be all over. Every dealership in the country will want Dave the Dealmaker. You I watch. Hope you're right. <laughs>